Happy halloween Mr. Morgie. <laughs> and happy Halloween to all transgenders, all gays, all standing under the rainbow of Minnie. Minnie Mouse, my heroine. Heroin? Not my heroin. Well, maybe my heroin, too. She's a drug. Uh, I'm 61 years old, and I'm happy to say I am as a little child in many ways, and I wish you a very happy halloween -y, Mr. Morgie. And uh, in this hour of me turning red, uh, just call me red, know this, that in this hour, the spirit of love is now pouring out over all flesh. Welcome to this blessing for all people under the LGBT community, if I'm saying that right. Uh, this has been a perverted world, and now it is a going to be a world where the shattering of the power of the holy people will come on like a light switch, and it will destroy all that has been on earth in accordance with the Word of God. The Word of God alone can destroy religion, and judgment does now begin at the house of God. And there's no winking about that. But uh, one thing is for sure, there is no condemnation, absolutely none whatsoever, with a proper interpretation of Scripture. Uh, I was foretold, people, as one who would come forth uh, insisting on his literal interpretations of Bible prophecy amidst much clamor and uh, much opposition. You see, Christianity does not have the God of the Bible, who is the God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. Do not have the Good Shepherd over all the flocks of man, John 10, Paul's Christ. Uh, their God is a God of uh, conditional love. That is not even a real God at all. Morg has been right. Uh, the Christian uh, Jesus has been the devil. And I never thought I would hear myself saying that, so I guess I am Hyperion too. But I come from the other side of the coin. I've experienced God's miraculous in my life. And so the truth is, there has never been a God of uh, conditional love. Conditional love does not even exist. Unless love is loyal and faithful and dedicated and patient and kind and uh, willing to go through long suffering, only that would be love. And so in this hour, the false God, I am Elijah, pulling down all distortionality so that the wise might shine as the sun. This is the age of Chrislam for the next thousand years, the age of the lion and the lamb, the son of righteousness arising to destroy all of man's bigotry and all of our inflated egos and our brainwashing to unwash. Uh, so we must beat the sword into the sickle to learn the ways of war no more, which simply means to change our conditional love into unconditional so that we can learn the ways of war. For wide is the way unto hell, and most people are on it uh, with uh, their conditional love. It's paved with conditional love the way to hell because people practice daily to become desensitized. And uh, by being desensitized, they let their love wax cold. And so in this hour of love's greatest power, coming forth. It's time that Christians uh, realize they have had the right guy. Uh, he is our majesty of majesties, our hero of heroes, but he's never had condemnation for anyone who keeps their love alive. Born again, they dared to, well, first off, what happened, They, they first they stole the Hebrew books, then they stole their identity, said we are Israel, and all the prophecy was for us, and that was all bullshit. Uh, the covenant that they have been standing wrongly upon for 2,000 years was to be given in the latter days. It says so, Jeremiah 31, and it was 
addressed correctly to Israel and all mankind. That is why Israel has now inherited all mankind in accordance with prophecy. Isaiah 54, 3 predicted this, and it predicted the obsolescence of all faith on earth, uh, which would be the obsolescence of Hebrews 8, the last sentence. For when you hear the words, I am your God, you are my people, I have forgiven you, and I will never remember it again. I will, sending Satan and Diablo to the pit for a thousand years, which was the former Jesus. <laughs> I guess if you can look at it like that. Now, they've had the right guy, but uh, they've had condemnation that religion put into his mouth is all just a wrong characteristic because no knees are going to bow to the name of love. Uh, no one's going to, uh, or every knee is going to bow to the name of love. Every tongue will confess love. That is the secret name of Christ of Mark 4. And uh, for those who really they want to know the name of Jesus was just a distortional false God name for uh, gross darkness has covered all mankind Isaiah 60 and Micah 4 4 and so in this hour God is ripping down the mountains tear, lifting up the valleys tearing down the mountain to make a way for all people whether they be straight or gay and there's no condemnation over anyone uh, who has their love alive as a little child. Uh, and so it's always been about love. So if you're not, uh, if you have no unconditional love for someone, you're in trouble. And so it's time to get out of the land of the walking dead where your love has become only a, um, a byword, only uh, useless in vain. Uh, and so it's time for the shattering of the power of, by, of the holy people by love. And so blessed are all those of uh, the, the formerly condemned by religion people under the pride flag. And the roaring lion of Zion is calling to his pride for them to stand tall and for them to just be loving people. And so blessed are all those of love's greatest passion, understanding that there's a wisdom of the head and a wisdom of the heart, which is the highest achievable wisdom available for anyone wanting to shine like our arising star of stars, our foretold son of righteousness, of love, that Isaiah 60, and he foretold healing in the wings uh, under as the fluttering dove of love comes to break religion in half uh, by the word of God moving forth for he alone is the beloved the blessed and the adored who now arises with love's most joyful healing for all under the gay pride flag under the whitest wings of he who is love and the, all those who love are literally born again and know God because God is love we are no damn good none of you are any damn good I'm no damn good that's what the Bible says morgue is no damn good uh, <laughs> Uh, the Romans 3.10 declares not even one, none of us have ever been any good and we don't get saved. No one gets saved. We are saved unless we commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, unless we r refuse to become like a little child. Christ said we must, uh, uh, to inherit the kingdom, we must be become again as a little child to let our love be unconditional uh, because there has never been such a thing as conditional love. Unless it is loyal, so Sylvester Stallone rightly says it's not even love at all. And so in this hour to you, Mr. Morg, and to everyone under that flag, the most regal eagle of the eons is now arising, fluttering, uh, to pour out love upon all flesh, and that includes all the gay, transgender, whatever the heck you are, by straight, because everybody just has a different sin. The, uh, the straights pointing to the gays, most of them are porn addicts, don't you know? So know that in the same way as our living lamb of peace uh, comes forth by his word again to prepare his way, his word of Malachi 3, 1 is, I am your God, you are my people. And he says, I'll write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, none of you will ever even 
need to be taught of me anymore, saith the Lord God, for all people of love as a child who haven't committed blasphemy of the Holy Spirit by letting love him within us to be rejected. Once he's out of us, it's the unforgivable sin. There's no redemption once you're totally loveless. But that is so hard to happen, people. Watch the deathbed confession of Anton LaVey on his deathbed. He had an enlightenment uh, and his falsehoods about God fell away and he realized that he's loved him with a, uh, an uh, adoration. You see people, the, the bullshit about religion is it's drilled into our heads that uh, God hated us from the beginning and this was never true. The horny angels from above, they saw the sloths and they fucked them and then there was like 2,000 pound sloths, 2,000 pound everything. The Nephilim, the daughters, took the daughters of men and they frigged around there and then came the giants. And even after after the flood wiped away most of the gigantism and dinosaurs kept living on right up until Marco Polo's day. Uh, Google uh, put in YouTube Daniel Owsley Marco Polo. Hear the eyewitness testimony of Marco Polo, uh, how they used to catch the T-Rexes in the caves uh, by traps and they would sell their meat as gourmet meat. Uh, <laughs> and that's why you can uh, Google uh, T-Rex blood cells and, and you'll see images, uh, head images, you'll see images of the blood cell in the cell. That's why uh that's why there's entombed animals. Hundreds of them have come out of rock supposedly for millions of years. Oh, it's all bullshit. Uh, the truth is this earth is made with very great age. I am restoring all things. Adam and Eve had no belly button. That's logic and reason. I am just as Hyperion as Morgan. I can win in any debate against him because I do it according to the word of God. And so in this hour, in the same way that our living lamb of peace is also our roaring lion of Zion, He's now calling to everyone under the pride rainbow flag and he wants all of them to have their shame and their guilt now totally removed by the forgetfulness of his forgiveness for he wants us to look unto the new Jerusalem and hit images of new Jerusalem NASA to see it you can see it, it was taken by the Hubble telescope and uh, as we look up to the shining sapphire sea above, it is the crystalline blue ocean of the bottomless uh, ocean of his adoration, his benevolence and the magnificence of his beneficence and his charity for one and all of us. He is all merciful. And Muhammad said that in the time of the end, his people would be called by another name that sounds like Islam because of a book coming proving God's mercy. He knew the mystery of God of Revelation. 10 7 and he knew it was Jeremiah that's why he said there will never be another uh, important prophet ahead and he was correct the important prophet was Jeremiah it was his appointment of Jeremiah 1 10 Haggai 2 2 that God would tear down everything and the veil is now being removed from off all nations uh, in accordance with Daniel uh, no in accordance with Isaiah 25 and that is the salvation of our earth totally blown to smith the rains never to rise again Isaiah 24 the preceding chapter God has promised uh, upon his latter day mountain that we would beat our sword into the sickle to learn the ways of war no more so in this under un, in this day of Elijah I am the latter day Daniel I am Shiloh in this hour all people of love need to stand under the same flag that you guys are under, under the rainbow promise of our beloved. Uh, our majesty of majesties doesn't want no more stupid sheep, and it's time for the milk of the word to be over. Time for me! Who will feed the master's household meat while the master is away? Uh, Isaiah 20, no, uh, Matthew 24, uh, 45, Jesus said, so if that counts. So instead, the Lord wants absolutely everyone to become part of his cherished pride, which is his most majestic name for a lion's most beloved family. And there is no condemnation over any of you as long as you will let your love flow as a child. It's time to stop racism, spiritual bigotry and spiritual racism, which has been the worst racism of all. I was the biggest bigot of them all. But of things to come concerning the future of God's sons and daughters and the work of his hands, Isaiah 45, 
told me and taught me to command God, and I did. And next thing I knew, I was writing by a lamp that was never plugged in for at least seven minutes. And that was the uh, candlestick, the one candlestick of Zechariah 4, not the two candlesticks of uh, Revelation. That's a whole different thing. That's the end time uh, to witness alive and ministering death. I'm ministering love, uh, and I'm the one that will turn the hearts of fathers to children, children to fathers, by telling the kids, don't love your parents with uh, if or but or because kind of love. That's not even real, kids. You got to love them with in spite of love uh, and through it all kind of love, real love that's dedicated. And so that is my job. And so in this hour, know that divine adoration is now falling upon all flesh uh, by our Most High Lord without any repentance whatsoever. And now comes the unapologetic truth that there has never been condemnation over anyone walking with the spirit of love and all people of love who love are born again and know him because he is love. And when his pride becomes truthful by new spiritual truths un being unveiled in this hour, uh, people will never again need to hide who they are or never need uh, to feel ashamed at all. And by the spirit of prophecy, Isa Yeshua, Jesus, is now reaffirming the dignity of all loving people who have been created totally equal to one another regardless of any beliefs whatsoever of divinity. Uh, that's why Jesus said, uh, even sin against me would be forgiven, just not against the Holy Spirit within, which is him living within us. He is love. That is the secret name of Mark 4 for Christ, to which every knee will bow, every tongue will bow uh, or confess, and none will be confessing Jesus. That was just a distortional false God. I am Elijah. And so in this hour, it is time to realize uh, that... Uh, any beliefs uh, regarding even sexuality uh, that people may or may not embrace, it is all unimportant because there is no damn good man. None of us have ever been. And it, it's not about our own righteousness. And all of our former understandings uh, have been as filthy rags compared to the spotless purity of Emmanuel's bottomless love, hope, and faith in this time of the refiner's fire of love coming with his message of equality for all and love for all that cannot be shaken and more cannot have no defense against this video and one thing for sure the lord god has now given unto all who are believing in forgiveness for all loving people so that the lord could never be accused of being a respecter of any of his creation by loving some more than others this is the highest a uh, form of heresy and blasphemy that Christians have been committing for 2,000 years. That is why the Bible screams out in this hour that there is nothing but desolate heritages, Isaiah 49, 8, which I must reassign because I hold the scepter of all kingdom age authority according to Genesis 49, 12. I am the alcoholic uh, Shiloh whose eyes are red and dull of wine, red of weed. I smoke a lot of ash. But one thing for sure, uh, it's time for the shattering of the power of the holy people because if the message of Malachi 3.1 does not go again to all people, to all tribes, to all nations, this world will utterly be destroyed and there will be no birds, no fish, no mankind left at all. Zephaniah 1.1, 1, 1, Malachi 4.6, total destruction of earth. The earth in pieces, Isaiah 24, the earth never to rise again. So let the wise now know, especially those of the gay community, that the Lord's living word of unconditional love is an absolute loot for everyone not letting their childlike verb uh, in motion love to die uh, to just become a noun and to wax cold and perish for as Christ said all sins shall be forgiven everyone as Matthew 12 31 says all sins shall be forgiven uh, and th that's all the masturbators all the adulterers all the murderers but if you're a murderer uh, Moses was a murderer uh, Paul uh, of Tarsus uh, that wrote a lot, uh, the book of Acts he was a murderer and uh, but they did not let their love 
go out, which was Christ living in them. And because to let love go out, that is the unforgivable sin of fools, regardless of their sexual persuasion, uh, fools who will let their faith of, in love to die unto all those. You don't got to believe no religious bullshit. You just got to know that greater is the love in you, which is your Lord. Uh, literally, he is our love. It belongs not of ourself. Of ourself, we are nothing but a piece of shit. And uh, if God will, if you will not believe what I am saying, God has a diarrhea shit dumb crap pie up your nose with a rubber hose so that diarrhea goes down your throat like malted because I am the strong and mighty one line by line, precept by precept with that strong and mighty one come forth as a destroying storm pulling down as even as a hailstorm. Read it for yourselves. And so in this hour, just as 1 John 4, 7 says, there is no heavenly condemnation over anyone of the LGBTQ community who is walking with the spirit of love. For all those who love with love like a child, some unconditional love, if it's a race, we got to win the race by lasting until the end. If we reject all love from us, we are totally loveless. How many millions of people think they're loving people and all the love of their life is all conditional. If their parents or their brother, their sister, their wife, their uncle, their dog, anybody crosses them, anybody doesn't uh, fit into their parameters of what they expect, then uh, they're going to just divorce them. And that's it for you. See you later, buddy. Ciao. That's not love. And so it's time to realize there's never been any, uh, any uh, heaven heaven sent uh, condemnation over anyone who is walking with the spirit of love and so therefore let all uh, of all of your loving soul everyone hearing my voice who still have love i don't care what sex you are or what sex you want to be it's irrelevant is of no damn good importance and so, but let all those of love amongst you embrace this kingdom age word. Uh, and uh, Micah 4 will come to pass. They will walk with their God. They will walk with their God. They will walk with their God in peace. And it will, the war will cease. And uh, praise God that these are the days that God wants to cut short if people will listen to his word. But I've been preaching for two years to absolutely nobody. So in this hour, it's time to wake up because the truth is that if you will embrace this kingdom age word of the utter beneficence of our Lord's greatest magnificence uh, as love, if you will recognize that he is always there as love for all of us. And it's not about what we've done for him. It's what he does for us. He gives us life. And so he's pouring out his love upon all flesh, exactly as it is foretold now by his messenger. Uh, Elijah will come first and restore all things, said the Lord in uh, Matthew 17, 11. And exactly as foretold in Hebrews 8, all former faith understandings over the shrinking circle of the earth is now finally totally obsolete since our Lord of love is now finally offering unto everyone the removal of all former distortional condemnations that they have placed wrongly. If God's not condemning you, you stop condemning yourself. Damn it. <laughs> True story. And so in this hour, the Lord says that he wants to remove people's shame and guilt by his forgiveness and his forgetfulness of their shame. And this is written in Jeremiah 31. Read that and read uh, Isaiah 25. Make that your uh, journey of religion and end it there because it's never been any importance what we believe. It's all been unimportant. It's all been desolate because we couldn't see the forest of love for the trees and the way. And so in this hour, uh, there's never been condemnation. And so all those of his greatest pride, of his loving forgiveness, they can now have all of their 
former shame and guilt, hallelujah, removed and cast away uh, upon the Lord's Latter-day Mountain that I have built of 12,000 videos, as it is written in Micah 4 and Isaiah 2, a, a mountain covered with spiritual food, as Isaiah 25 says. So blessed are all those, and you, Morg, of love, if you will keep your love alive, Morg. And uh, you are a brother of another mother, but you have never met a debater like me. And guess what? If you will not acknowledge my living, I am going to pile thousands and thousands of Morg official videos. I am on your trail like a hound dog. You ever hear that song, Old Red? Hi, my dad's name was Red. And uh, I'm going to tell you a more official Mr. Morgan Knight about my dad. And so you know who the frig you're dealing with because guess what? The truth is, the truth is apples don't fall too far from the tree. This is my pops. This was red. It don't matter if you can see him that well or not. But this man had a gun to his stomach. And he put his nose about a couple of inches away from his nose. And he said, you mother friggin' girl, you could thump it, thump it, thump it. You don't have the friggin' equipment to, to pull that fucking trigger, you asshole. And the guy had a gun to his stomach. That took some uh, kahunas. And Morg, I, I respect you are a uh, sword swallower and you are fearless in your domain. But to debate me, you know, you would be an instant loser. So you are already defeated and you will start losing uh, much of your people. And so, because they're gonna realize, hey, we got a coward who is a leader. And so that will not defend himself. <laughs> I'm not a bully. I want to debate you on how to unify this world because I have all the answers and you have none. <laughs> so uh, it don't matter. None of us have a, uh, a monopoly on wisdom. Morg, you are a genius. I take my hat off for you if I had a hat on. But uh, you are way off on a lot of your understandings, and it's not your fault. I understand where you came from. And I condemn you not. You condemn yourself by your closed-mindedness. So blessed are all those of love, knowing uh, within the gay community, knowing that there's nothing in this world so irresistibly contagious as laughter and awakened love that's aflame with passion. And most blessed are all those of love's passionate, uh, passion of flame by their love's hopes dawning. We must let it dawn. It's just a change of heart so that we can be different people, so that we can keep uh, our eye on the situation better with understanding, so we can behold the truest truth and not be uh, caught up into webs of deceit any longer. And so by uh, turning on the dawn, uh, the enlightenment of accepting truth, only then can people really finally begin to receive eternal springs within their lives when their love's most radiant transformation happens that so easily causes inner warmth to explode within them like summer in the sun. And blessed are all gay people who envisions a society in which diverse sexual and gender identities are included. It's time for in inclusivity uh, and valued people, the gay people shall be valued and celebrated more than ever. And as a result of this weapon, this is a spiritual weapon for all of you under that flag. It's start. It's time to switch your leaders uh, because I stand behind you a lot more than more ever could. Uh, and as a result of love's wishes, it's time to promote and maintain, maintain maintain dignity and human freedoms uh, amongst all transgender, bi, gay, straight, whoever, uh, and human rights for everyone, keeping their love alive. Since many loveless people shall say that they believe in our loving God, many will say, Lord, I believed, I did this, I did that. He's gonna say, too bad, you, you missed it. You let your love die out. And then they will be cast out into the outer darkness where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 
out into the utter lovelessness of perishing because once we cast love out of us, we are loveless. And Mickey and many, you know, under for all of you under that rainbow, uh, they've told me for years, Mickey and many in the spirit, that uh, it's been a world of festering fears and tears far too long, but perfect love can cast it all away uh, if there was enough helium. And <laughs> gotta bop them on the beeper. But one thing is for sure, it's time to realize that uh, people need to stop being cast into outer darkness due to their spiritual suicide of letting God's light of unconditional love within them to be extinguished by their own unloving foolishness, their own imagined shame and their own imagined guilt that God does not even condemn you for. And yet you condemn yourself? Why? It's insane, so stop it. And within the blackest blackness therein, where the loveless people shall be cast, then there shall be much wailing and gnashing of teeth by such suicidal loveless straits and loveless gaze. It makes no difference what gender we have ever been. In the afterlife, we shall be as the angels, neither male nor female is what the Bible says. Sex has always been irrelevant. And so most blessed are all those believing loves gospel truth that absolutely nobody, and I am the messenger from Isaiah 41 from the north, if Canada counts, by the way, people. And know that uh, absolutely nobody is useless in this world who lightens the burdens of others. So let's all be used to lighten others' burdens just by letting our, our smiles shine. For in these days of Elijah, people must begin trying to be good neighbors that easily will forgive one another and treat other by the golden rule as they wish to be treated as they stop judging one another unfairly as people choose to live humbly and show mercy and work for justice uh, for all of their actions uh, and so it's time and uh, I'm running out of time so this is going to be continued love from love Mr. Moore